What was earlier known as Android Q is now called Android 10. Yes, Google has abandoned desert names for its new versions of Android and Google has rolled out the latest version of Android which is Android 10 for a bunch of devices, mostly from the Google Pixel line of smartphones. Now we've installed Android 10 on the Google Pixel 3 XL and a couple of other phones which we have lying in the Gadgets 360 lab to check out what the fuss is all about. So here are the best features that we've spotted in Android 10. Before watching this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to be notified whenever we publish new videos. Now every year we've had one easter egg with Android, that is when you go to settings and tap the version of Android over there a few times, then it'll show the logo of that version of Android. Now for Android 10, this easter egg is a new puzzle game. Now first you tap the Android name over there, now you'll see Android 10. After that, just tap and hold 1, it'll start rotating and align it with the 0 to make it look like Android Q. And this will allow you to access this puzzle game. Now this puzzle game is called a Nonogram. Now we don't know how to play this game, we haven't been able to figure it out yet. But if you do, then let us know via the comments. Android 10 also brings a fully gestural navigation mode that removes the navigation bar area entirely. Now common things such as back, home and recents can be accessed with edge swipes rather than visible buttons. Now you can go to settings, system and gestures to switch this on. Now these gestures remind us a lot about iOS. Now we've already done a video about Android Q copying the gestures from iOS and how this is a good thing. So you can check that out as well for more details. Dark theme is one of the biggest visual additions to Android 10. Now you'll be able to activate the system wide dark mode from settings, display, a new quick setting style, or by turning on battery saver. And not only does this change the system UI to dark theme, it will also allow you to change supporting apps to the dark theme. Now, not all developers have added dark theme to their apps yet, and this includes some first party apps such as Gmail as well. This dark theme is pretty cool, and you can check it out and let us know what you think about it. The share sheet was one of the biggest pain points with Android earlier, but not anymore. Now, first of all, this new share sheet on Android 10 loads really quickly. It has the most required options and we are able to use it without hassle. So what more could you ask for? Focus mode is a new feature of Android 10 that will also be made available to Android 9 users. Now this is a new feature for Android's digital well-being initiative and this basically lets you silence certain apps that you find distracting. So you can quickly turn this on and off via quick tiles. Now if you want DND mode only for specific apps, you can quickly enable them via focus mode. Android 10 also adds some new privacy related controls, especially for location. Now you have one more granular option to choose from, which is you can grant location access to an app all the time, never, or only when you're using the app. So if you want to quickly share your Wi-Fi password with a guest at your home or just someone who wants the Wi-Fi password, then you can do it easily in Android 10. Now you can go to Wi-Fi settings, tap on the network you're connected to and you'll find a new share button. So once you tap the share button, a QR code will appear and the other person can use their phone to scan it and they will have the Wi-Fi password. Smart replies is the feature we've seen on the Android Messages app before and now it's being rolled out to other apps as well. Now this essentially allows you to reply quickly to messages by using one of four suggested options that the system itself suggests. Now if you're too lazy to type out a reply, then you can use the system suggested options or else you can manually reply as well.
So let's just say that you've kept auto rotate disabled and your device is in portrait mode. And then you switch to landscape mode. Now on the bottom left, you'll see an option to enable auto rotate. So this enables it quickly and then you're in landscape mode and the device is locked to that. So if you switch back to portrait, you'll see that button again and you can quickly again switch to portrait mode. Android 10 also brings in some more options for volume control. Just press the volume button on your device which is running Android 10, tap that settings icon and then you'll see media volume, call volume, ring volume and alarm volume which you can quickly adjust right here without actually going into the settings app. So that was a quick look at the best new features in Android 10. Now, which is your favorite Android 10 feature? Let us know via the comments. And for all things tech, log on to gadgets360.com.